Hello and welcome along. Today we are back on Lone Oak Farm and we have our John Deere 7R, uh, yeah, uh, 7310R here. Uh, and attached to it we have this lovely piece of kit. This is a Vatstad Rolex uh, 1320. Uh, it's a little bit dirty because we've driven it back from the shop. If you saw the end of last episode, we went and picked this up. Uh, this is a weeder. This is, as far as I know, the only weeder mod that I've seen. Other than, uh, there is a grass arrow uh, that I think that acts as a weeder as well. But, um, yeah, we are going to go and use this. We're going to go and use this on the soybeans and on the grass fields. I'm hoping it's wide enough to do that. Uh, I just want to, before we start off, I just want to have a look at it. See uh, what power requirement it has, because if our 7R isn't up to it, we need to get our 8R out. So this requires 180 horsepower, our 7R, uh, wherever it has gone. This way, there we go, uh, that's our 8R, there's our 7R. Uh, has 310, so easily, easily enough horsepower for this. So we're going to go and use this. Uh, and uh, and get stuff done. We need to do it at this point uh, because uh, oh yeah, we are going to have to get some care wheels of some description on here. Uh, I think the double narrow should do it. So uh, oh no, open the door and get in. Need to keep getting uh, reminding myself to do that. All right, we'll just drop it off and head into here. Uh, to be perfect, we could go and run this on the grass first and uh, and use it there. But uh, I'm going to get the soybeans done. I leave the door open because we are going to be hopping out again. Yeah, I don't think we can get any uh, narrows on the... Ah, um... oh, it's detected the weight. We're going to have to drop the weight off just outside. Fine, we'll just drop that here and reverse back up uh, and then the weight should not be detected anymore. A customized tractor. So wheel setup standard, US dual rear, US... Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to go standard tyres. It's probably going to mean we're going to put some... Uh, I don't think we have... You know what? I'm going to use this on the grass then. Uh, if we use it on the, uh, if we go and use it on the soybeans, it's going to cause us an issue uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to end up doing uh, destroying crop because we do have crop destruction on, and I don't want to be destroying any of the soybean crop. I don't think we have a tractor uh, with narrow tires on, being uh, an American setup. And I don't think doing the jewels will do anything other than just destroy more crop. Uh, but we can go and have a look. In fact, I'm not even sure that any crop has grown in that field. No. So it, the soybeans haven't grown at all yet anyway. So we're going to unfold. We're going to go into the third. Whoop. Wait for it to fold down. There we go. Right, let's get weeding our grass then. So, uh, down it goes. And is that having an effect? Yes, that is. Perfect. So, we'll get the grass weeded. What we can do, actually, uh, is we can use the GPS for this. So, uh, GPS on. And what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to do the ends, uh, but I am going to auto width it. And we're just going to go around. So, yeah, we are now weeding the grass. Uh, this will add in, uh, this both gets rid of any of the weed around it and also uh, will seal in some of the water because it's got a roller in it as well. Uh, so that all helps. Uh, what it'll also do is it will allow us to um, get more. Uh, it'll get rid of any excess uh, stuff that we have kicking about. So uh, what I'm going to do now. It's going to hit new there. Perfect. And that will then keep us on the straight and narrow. 
Uh, and we, what we'll do is we'll do a complete circuit of the field first. And then we will go back and we will come and do up and down it as well. So yeah, grass weeding is what this is all about today. Uh, and this is, this is just going to give us... Uh, well, I think this actually takes the grass maybe up to full again. I need to be careful when doing that. I want to get right up to the edge, which is good. I don't quite like this weeder. If I can get something, if I can get something with narrow tires that will allow me to do the uh, uh, allow me to do the actual crops like this without doing any crop destruction, that'd be fantastic. Uh, but as it stands at the moment, if I use this on any of our crops with any of our tractors, uh, we are going to destroy crop, and I really don't want to do that. So we'll have a look. We'll see what our options are. It doesn't require a huge amount of horsepower, so that might mean that we can get a, uh, a new tractor uh, and see what tractors there are with what options. Now, we only need a fairly small tractor. I don't think the tractor we have uh, up at our sheep comes with narrow tyres, but that is something I can check. Yeah, it is taking it back to an earlier stage of growth. Right, so I'm going to lift this up and head back down the other end and we will work from the other end forwards. Maybe get a screenshot from this end as well. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so uh, there is something I wanted to cover in today's video as well, uh, which uh, which I felt was quite important. Um, so uh, Bullet Bill, who has created this map, um, I'm not sure what the status is going to be at the point of this uh, and uh, everything, but his motherboard on his PC, uh, which is a 10-year-old PC, has gone kaput, uh, has completely died. Uh, so many of us in the uh, farming simulator community have uh, said uh, and gone, okay, Bullet Bill has given so much to us. Uh, I mean, wonderful maps like this and so many hours of pleasure uh, that we would we want to, to give something back and uh, and show him how much uh, how much his work means to all of us. Uh, so we have been raising money for him to get a new computer. Uh, because obviously a motherboard that is 10 years old, uh, you're not just replacing the motherboard, you're going to be replacing the uh, the motherboard the processor, the RAM, you know, uh, in that case you're into a new case and at that point you're kind of going, well, that's a new PC. So uh, hopefully, uh, I will put in, uh, well I'll put up, uh, I might be able to put up on screen, but definitely in the description, uh, I will put a link to his uh, PayPal uh, donation link uh, and if you are able to uh, not not compulsory or anything but uh, you know if you feel uh, as I do that he has contributed an awful lot uh, to the farming simulator community and to the enjoyment of this game um, I would say uh, you know go and give him a little bit um, a pound or two you know whatever, whatever you can uh, just just to show your appreciation uh, and to help him get uh, back on his feet with a, a new PC uh, and so that we can, uh, even from a slightly selfish point of view, so that we can uh, continue to enjoy his fantastic work. Uh, so I'm not going to harp on about it too much in this video, but uh, yeah, uh, if you can, please do. Uh, and uh, I think it would be very greatly appreciated. Uh, I know a, a decent amount of money has already been raised, uh, but... Uh, I think uh, I think you know he uh, he very much has done a lot for those of us who play this game, and uh, and uh, and personally I like to recognise that. So uh, yeah, and then we get back on to <laughs> to Lone Oak Farm, uh, and I think at this point I'm going to try and get a screenshot. I've got too many lights on. There we go. Right. And do that and 
So we should get through this field today, I think. Uh, well, and then we'll get through this field. It's got quite a wide and quite a fast uh, working speed. So, uh, and you can see the effect we're having on the field. So the field is getting nicely fertilized from this. Um, I'd be inter I'm really interested to see uh, how weed is working in FS19. Because of course in FS19 they do actually remove weeds. Uh, they're not a means of fertilizing. They are a means of weed removal. Uh, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to see that. I think that will just be, um, it's gonna be utterly, it's gonna make, um, it's gonna take weeders from something that are optional at the moment to something that are uh, required, uh, pretty much. Um, I would guess, uh, like most realism options, you'll be able to turn them off. Uh, but uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm very excited to see weeds have a much bigger gameplay role and to see that you need to either spray them or, or otherwise use a weeder on them in order for them to be um, of use. Uh, well, in order to, you know, to get rid of the weeds. Um, which is, uh, yeah an awesome uh, an awesome expansion on something that got added to fs 17 and we kind of went oh I, I wonder what those are useful for oh it's a fertilizer no now it's actually a weed it's actually it's actually sort of slowly bringing in aspects of things like the soil mod into fs19 uh, and i love how they've they've introduced it over over time over periods of the game so uh, you know the very rudimentary parts of uh, of soil mod with having to uh, spray multiple times to get uh, to get the top yield uh, that is uh, that of course is part of something uh, as part of what was added with FS17 uh, the addition of weeds and having to specifically spray or or do uh, weeds in FS19. Again, another step forward into to what was soil mold in FS15. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes from here. Excited to see where where this takes it. Uh, very much. So uh, we shall see. This is uh, this is doing a grand job. This is. We are. Uh, we are zooming through this field. I might turn it 90 degrees for the last bit of this field, uh, as we have done uh, normally for this field. I'm kind of tempted to uh, split this field into two, actually. There's uh, quite a bit, uh, you know, to be said for the first half. Uh, we, we always do this way, it seems to be, and the second half, uh, we always seem to do add an at 90 degrees to this so uh, it might be there might be something to be said for doing that uh, if I can get well we'll see how we don't win we're not doing too badly for time we took a little bit a little bit of time getting onto the field and the other field that we have to do is very uh, is you know a very sort of long field it's not just uh, so it's a simpler shape than this so we should get both grass fields done today uh, that will set us up very very nicely going forward uh, getting into doing the whole thing of um, there we go. Uh, going into the whole thing of uh, doing some more silage uh, I also as I said before I want to do some grass seed grass seed is something that seems to be added uh, I, I'm guessing it's an additional crop, um, but it's it's odd that it's not one that I've seen a lot of. Uh, I think it must be a very simple additional crop. Um, but uh, it is something I want to do on this map. It's something that I want to have a go with. So we shall see how that goes. Right back this way. Uh, we are going to turn these 90 degrees. Yeah, not that one. Right, this one here, I think we only need two parts to do. Yeah, 
but I'm going to go along here. There we go. Just to make sure that we get all of it. I think we already have, to be honest. I've got a second run over it. Won't make a huge difference. Right, I'm round. And down. There we go. So, uh, yeah, this field is almost done now. Is almost completed. And uh, in doing this, we should end up with a really good uh, yield on this field. Uh, which will be utterly fantastic. Uh, we've already seen, uh, you know, how much we can get off it with our uh, first uh, load of si uh, silage we did. I'd like to do some silage to sell as well. Uh, we I'm not sure we have enough field to do that. And the, um, and the grass seed. What I haven't got is I haven't got a... Uh, a head that I can do the grass seed with is the only trouble I've got. I don't know how much that will take. I don't think, um, said I was going to attempt the second field today. I don't think I can. I think it's something that I have to do off camera. Uh, we're doing the live stream, but uh, we don't have a low note live stream this week. We are uh, back. Uh, I'm unavailable on Friday night, so uh, yeah, no low note live stream this week. Uh, we do have a live stream from Cobra Park, Park Farm tonight with day 28 of the Realism Experiment. Uh, and again on Sunday, we will be back on Cobra Park Farm as well. There we go. Doing very nicely. And we have a small, yeah, we have a small sliver at the side here that needs to get that. Right, go. Yep. And that does just about cover us for today. I am going to go and take this over to the other field. Uh, might get course play running on it quickly and get this job jobbed over there. Uh, but to be honest. For now, from here, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.